what is up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to learn about express as you have seen in the title um, we're going to create a simple application and along the way we're going to learn about express and its features that it provides all right so if you are a beginner to express or if you have no idea or if you're just starting out with express if this is the first video that you're doing on express then this video is I won't say perfect, but okay for you to, to go with it and follow along, all right? So except for basic JavaScript and a little bit of Node.js, uh, you don't need much in order to learn Express. So what is Express? As you can see here, Express is a backend framework for Node.js, all right? So Express is built on top of Node.js. You can use the features of Express or the features Express provides in order to build a web application on the backend. Now, when I say backend, it includes uh, certain things like routing or connecting with the database and user authentication and stuff like that, all right? So if you come down here, it says, Express is a minimal and flexible Node.js web application framework that provides a robust set of features for web and mobile application, all right? So Express is minimal, meaning that you don't need to do a lot of setup for Express, all right? You, know, you just need to go install it just like this you say npm install express and the express will be installed in your application and then you can just start coding it all right and it is also flexible right meaning there's a lot of ways in order to do a particular task most framework does not provide that in most frameworks you just have one way of doing things however in express you have a lot of ways of doing things for a particular task okay you can use node.js features or modules in express as well right and then that is one of the reason why express is flexible is that you can use node.js features there also so you can actually go here and read the documentation um, express provides this uh, short tutorial on how to get started as well now in order to get started you need to install node.js all right because we need the npm package manager in order to install the dependencies all right so you can actually come here and download this version right here all right and just install it the installation procedure is very simple for the code editor i'm going to be using visual studio code as usual all right uh, you can use any that anything that you want but i would recommend visual studio code itself all right so the application that we're going to build will look like this all right so this is a basic application and basically what this application does is as you can see here its name is express diary so it will store the records of whatever happened to you in a particular day all right just like a diary so this is how the home page looks like and you also have the about page and when you click on the about page it will take you to localhost 3000 slash about and when you go to home again it says localhost 3000 so this is basically called routing all right so we're gonna have routing in our application also if you go to open your express diary here now this will lead you to slash diary path where right now there's nothing right here okay because i haven't created any records but here you have something called add to diary and you have this button that says add so let's click on to it now you will be directed to this page all right and now you can add anything that you want all right so for the title i'm gonna say something like went on a walk all right for the description um, i went on a walk something like that and we also have the input for date and for the date i'm going to select the one which is today and once you click add to diary this data will be added to the database all right so let's click here and there you go once it gets added to the database it will also be shown right here in our diary path and i'm going to be using mongodb for my database all right i'm going to be using something called mongodb atlas so it is a cloud database service all right right now just don't focus on anything that's right here just focus on here collections all right so let me go here and here we have the recent input that we gave all right so we added the title went on a walk and also added the description and date and that is being stored right here all right and in this page we are actually fetching these datas and showing right here and if you click on to more you will land up on a page that shows everything in detail all right before we didn't have the description once you click on the more now we also have a description and all these stuff 
so here we have these two buttons which is edit and delete which means and which means that you can also edit this record and you can also delete it so let's go to edit and now we go to this edit path all right and here i'm going to say went to school instead of went on a walk all right and for the date i'm going to add 26th So let's now if you click now if you click on to edit diary here this will edit your record all right it won't create a new one it won't delete the previous one it will just change the one that you had so you have went on a school now if you go to mongodb atlas and refresh it there you go the data has been changed all right finally you can also delete this record by clicking delete here all right and this will erase the data from the database all right so this is a basic CRUD functionality which is create read update and delete and this functionality is present in almost all the web application that you create so we're going to do that also we're going to do routing and there are also a lot of other things that we'll be learning along the way all right so let's get started